Good morning, Somerset Junior High. Today is day two for remote students. And today we are going to be working on our uh, shape of our eyes. And we're going to shape them as an eclipse. You're going to do a pupil, an iris, an eyelid. You're also going to draw radiant lines out from the pupil. And you are going to go ahead and do your eyebrows today. So let me go ahead and turn around so you can see the outline of the face that I created for the for the face-to-face -face students. So looking at my eyes, what I did is let's look at the eclipse shape first. Okay. This is the eclipse shape that I created. And what I did is this shape that I created right here, I just transferred over here. And you could start on your left or your right. It doesn't really matter. What matters is, is that whatever, whatever size that you create on your eclipse is that it's the same size over here. It's not going to be exact because this is the first time you cre you're creating a self-portrait. So um, try as best as you can. So I'm. what I did was, let me get a Sharpie here. When you look at it, oh, your eyelashes, you could create that too. So what I did was, I'm trying to I create this eye this eclipse shape and then when I create this shape right here I'm gonna go no and put it on this side but I'm sorry it's kind of shaky because I'm holding it so what we're gonna have to use a ruler and that's how I took the measurement from here to here and then I went over here and measured it about right there. Then I took the measurement from there to there, from, from here to this line. Uh, one of the things that you need to do is that when you get find the, the radius, uh, you probably didn't create this line going up. Go ahead and do that now. And so I would take the measurement from here to here, and then it's the same. So then I would get my, and this is something that you're going to have to do kind of over and over again um, because it's your first time and don't, you know, it's not going to be perfect. Even looking at mine, I could see this one's a little bit smaller than this one. Yeah, but that's okay. You could fix that. Um, so I created this, the eclipse shape and then when you create that, just kind of step away, look at it, and then if it needs to go smaller, goes a little smaller or larger, you can go ahead and correct that. So this is the interesting part. When you create your pupil, you're just going to create a circle. And I'm going to try. It's really hard to do this while I'm holding a camera. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, I don't even, I'm kind of, I'm too close. And then I'm going to create the circle. And the circle is going to go a little bit out. And I know, you guys. And then what I'm going to do right here in the middle is I'm going to go ahead and create I just created my pupil and now I'm going to create my iris and and then when you do that uh, you're going to go ahead and shade in the iris right here and then right above this l curve line you're going to create a 
I'm gonna go right here, an eyelid. And then, so you should have your eclipse-shaped eyes, your pupil, your iris, which you should shade in. And then this is what Miss Silva calls drawing the lines that radiate out from the pupil. So basically you're going to create, oops, these lines right here. And there. So let me just talk over what you have completed already. You create your eclipse eyes, your pupil, your iris, your radiant lines. You're going to shade in the iris. And you're going to do eyelashes. Um, eyelashes are very important because we all have them. So mine apparently look very short from afar. So when you create an eyelash, you're going to start from the outward corner. And the outward corner starts from here. And you're going to go short, 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 medium, 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 long, 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 medium, 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 short, short, short. And um, when you create the eyelashes, there are quick curves. One's going upward. The ones down here goes downward. So let me start over here. And they're pretty much going to be quick, like short. You saw how I did it right there. And, and I'm doing medium, 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 medium. And you see how they're, they're just quick. Oops, probably not the best. And these in the middle are going to be longer. And then it's starting to get shorter. And they're going to be curved. And then when you go down, you're going to go downward. So you should have your eclipse-shaped eyes. I'm just going over one more time. Your pupil, your eyelid, your iris, your radiant lines and your eyelashes. I know I said in the video to do your eyebrows and each eyebrow is going to be individually different because um, these are my eyebrows. So what I did was is I took a look at my photograph and what I did is that basic eye outline. Now, they really do look centered because what I did is this line right here, I brought it up and depending on, you know, if your eyebrows go to go towards more that the line right here, then move them towards here. Um, but mine are manicured. I got them uh, waxed and done. So that's why they look kind of perfect, but they're not. So what I did is I did a basic outline. And then if you look closely, what I did is, is I'm, I did not shade it in. I made lines, quick lines, and it goes downward. They go downward. And I know that is a lot. So I'm going to give you until Wednesday can, to complete this. And then um, we're going to work on our nose after our, we're going to work in conjunction with our nose, our philtrum. You don't know if you can see that. It's right there. It's the, it's the part underneath your nose, uh, your tip of your nose. And then we're going to work on our, our mouth. So I uh, hope to see you in, with your uh, picture. I'm going to request that you go ahead and post your picture of what you've done in these last couple days. So Thank you and hope to see all the artwork soon.